Hey, Taylor Hamill here talking about the Teufelberger Multi Sling, designed by Tree Imagineers, hardware by DMM. A few different uses right off the bat here. Um, we got a 26 millimeter aluminum ring uh, and two stitched eyes, one on either end. Used as a choker, we can pass that small stitched eye through that ring choker on the stem like that. Uh, no misconfiguration of that ring. It can be loaded in all directions. Uh, there's no carabiner here or any knot to tie. That uh, The carabiner can be, you know, rotated funny and load against the gate or something. Um, so that gives us actually quite a bit of room here. This is 1 meter 30, 130 centimeters of length. That You can choke that around a pretty good sized stem if you need to and then, you know, attach various hardware into the eye. Um, you want to choke a little bit smaller stem like we have here. Um, that's easily done. Got a DMM Ultra O I'll stick in there. And that can be uh, run through both the soft eyes or if you want, can run it through that ring as well. That doesn't matter. It's up to you. I also like to use the multi-sling as a temporary friction saver. So I've got a one meter multi-sling here with a revolver in the end. And uh, if you're using two different anchors, uh, two different climbing lines, the V-Rig, M-Method, whatever you want to use. In this case, I just pulled up the tail of my climbing line. Um, so I can install this over the limb or, limb or crotch that I want. And uh, now I just use it like a ring and ring friction saver but it's got the revolver there which saves you some friction with the, the sheave in the revolver and also interesting uh, to note uh, in a doubled line climbing system uh, running rope system like we use I guess um, when you descend you'll maybe you can see here but as I descend the way the rope runs most of the friction is on the ring well as I ascend back up that changes and most of the friction then and most of my my weight if you will uh, is concentrated on the carabiner so if you're using just a regular carabiner without a sheave it really wants to wear out that carabiner you'll notice that if you, if you use a you know the, uh, the pulley, pulley uh, and carabiner style uh, friction savers uh, so what's nice about that the sheave on the revolver is is that allows the rope to run across that and you're not wearing down that carabiner. So speaking of uh, using a, a second friction saver, um, I just pulled up the tail of my climbing line here and I can use my other multi-sling as a uh, split tail or a, or a friction hitch. And with the integrated ring here we've got a slack tender. And how that works, I pulled up the tail of my climbing line. I've got my uh, other multi-sling here on a DMM Ultra O. I'm going to take the eye of my line and pass it through that ring first. Clip that to my harness so I don't lose it. Then that goes through my friction saver. Or you can go natural crotch if you really want to, but I like the friction saver. And then I'm going to install this eye back onto the Ultra O and I'm rotating it here so I can install it into my friction uh, sorry rather my hitch climber and I also like to keep that large eye on the spine side of the carabiner so because it's gonna roll a little bit here and I, I don't want it to interfere with the gate so it's nice to keep it on that spine side so I've got three holes in my friction saver I'll use that center hole Correction, it's not a friction saver, it's a hitch climber. My uh, attachment point for this second climbing line. you got to have three holes to do that. You may notice that I have the Ultra O rotated so the nose is toward the hitch climber. You can also install it on the hitch climber first, rotating the nose away from the hitch climber and toward the climbing line. This makes it easier to uh, take the eye splice on and off the carabiner. tie dress and set. There's my Blake's hitch. I've got a stopper knot here already with the stitching but I'll just throw in a figure eight for the heck of it. 
kind of shorten up some of that slack. So here I've got a friction hitch with a built-in slack tender. I can tend slack with that ring. Descend as I want to, tend slack again. Real nice. Okay, I like to use the multi-sling as an auxiliary friction saver, uh, particularly when using the M method or the V-Rig. I use it a lot. Um, works for me. And uh, I'm just going to show you the setup in real time here so you can see really how quick it happens. Um, I'm lanyarded in. Um, I've moved to this side of the tree and I've decided I want to use the M, M method or the V-Rig. Um, so here you go. I'll get it set up. You can count if you want to. Um, so I grab my friction saver off of my belt, <laughs> my belt, my harness, and uh, this is a ring and uh, revolver. Set that in the crotch I want to tie into. I'm lanyarded in here so I can get generate a little bit of slack in my climbing line. Take that eye off through the ring first, then the revolver connect that back to my center attachment point there. In this case I like to use another hitch climber as my centerpiece and that gives me some other options I'll show you in a minute. That gets clipped in to the top hole. You need three holes to do that. Tend my slack and now I'm ready to go. That didn't take very long. Um, another thing that I like to do with the M method is because it's equalizing, um, it usually, and depending on what your friction is like at your tie in points, it'll generally try to pull you back into the middle. So if you're between two large uh, spreading stems or something, um, oftentimes you want to try to hold your progress on this side, um, and you're, you, you, there's a way to do that without having to fight too hard with your body and that's just using another Prusik in the hitch climber here. So I like to do that with another multi-sling because I carry two of them on my harness. So I just throw in a uh, three wrap six coil Prusik here and you can do all this now while this system is loaded. Uh, I'm bucked in here still lanyarded in as well but so I'll tie dress and set that and that gets clipped in to that top hole on the hitch climber there. So here I've got the Prusik attached, clipped into the my hitch climber in the center of my system here. And now I can capture that progress that I've made over here. And I can even create slack in my original tie-in point now. And I can climb off of this tie-in point, all for little excursions here and there, um, when I still want to return back to my original tie-in point. Um, the nice thing here too is I've got a slack tender in the hitch climber so I, I can tend that slack as well. Or you can do it manually, it's up to you. I think that's about it getting dark anyway. Get the hell out of here. Drink a brewski.